Hello YouTube. Vanille Copium is through the roof right now. <laughs> they they dropped Bulk Fear on us out of nowhere. Uh, I think exactly three weeks early compared to when his LD board and rework dropped. So yeah, JL got it early on a triple LD banner with the BT on it nonetheless. Thank you Square Enix for listening to us. Or should I say doing something that makes sense and not screwing us over. Regardless, I'm a little late, but I think my video is worth doing at this point because I do have some opinions about Bulk Fear. So in this video, before you pull on Bulk Fear, I'll go over Vault here and give you some things to think about before you use your limited resources, or maybe after the fact, make you, or maybe if you're on the fence, whatever. I played with JP and Global if you're not familiar, and I use that knowledge, experience, and research to form my opinions. I also give some personal plans to put some skin in the game and give players an example of how to potentially think. I want to hear your plans too, so go ahead and leave a comment with your plans for the banner in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, we'll also hit the bell so you don't miss a video. I do read all the comments, but sometimes I get overwhelmed. If you want to support the channel and get access to emotes while making sure I always reply to your comments, you can become a channel member for $1. You can also use these emotes in the comments and during my weekly stream, The Ranting Hour, lots of fun. I have a playlist in the description you can check out for more VODs. This banner is something else. Setzer, Ash, who was supposed to be on the Zack banner, but she got shuffled around in Balthier with his rework and LD boards. Balthier's role in the party, if you're not familiar, he is a damage dealer who also has some supporting capabilities in terms of buff to the party like brave damage, attack, HP damage. Additionally, he is also a dispeller, and he dispels by taking the enemy buffs and applying them to himself, but the primary function is getting rid of the enemy buffs. And he can also cleanse the party's debuffs with his LD, and he can cleanse his own with the skill too. Anyways, his rework served to largely improve his damage, which he was lacking when he initially got his LD in global. Skill 1 now does 50% splash with 2 HP attacks, and skill 2 has 3 HP attacks. It also has 50% splash, and both of these skills have refund in the middle. This is a huge increase in damage. Baltier's LD is what gave him party buffs once he got the five stacks. If you're not familiar, he gave party attack and brave, brave and HP damage to the party. With his LD boards now, he gets 30% more attack up, overflow for the party, and 10% more brave damage for the party. He also gets a personal brave damage buff and starts with a free skill. The actual LD attack becomes a double AoE brave plus HP. He recovers one use of each skill, so this would have been helpful in the shell core, but a little too late, Balthier. And lastly, he gets the Aroha, Jekt, etc. mechanic, where when he does an HP attack, he only expends 70% of his brave, so he does 100 HP damage, he will be left with 30. Brave. This is a significant damage amp for him just because he has the multiple Brave plus HP attacks, and the Brave discount on top of him refunding in the middle amps his damage a lot. His LD call is nice as a pocket dispel, it dispels 3 buffs, and it'll cleanse all the debuffs from the party. His high armor plus leans HP, which makes sense and makes a big difference really because he has so many HP attacks and he has a bunch of AoEs that this will cap pretty easily. For my breakdown, Baltier's strengths are he is the best damage dealing dispeller in the game. Ferris, Yuffie, and Vanille, their damage is not really that great. Ferris is actually a meme, except for her calls. Vanille brings the battery and the very offensive debuffs, and Yuffie has the buff denial and somewhat party stats up with decent defense down, but no one, no dispeller is ever pumping out as much damage as Baldir. He is strong enough to be a primary damage dealer in a team, and he can also serve as an aura bot as well, so he's contributing. 80% attack, 30% break damage, 20% HP damage is very good on someone that can pump out as much damage as Balthier. And because he has these auras, he can even function as a third slot if you have some buffs you need to get rid of, but he's also contributing a lot more than he used to. Having a self cleanse on his skill too and a party cleanse on his LD can also situationally be very helpful. There is a lot of utility packed into this one character. Truly, truly a quality of the leading man. As for weaknesses, if you're not willing to go all the way in terms of Balthier's damage, he's probably going to feel a little underwhelming. There is the opportunity cost to consider for a damage dealer. If you're not maxing his damage all the way, he's going to feel like, eh, why is he in the party? I mean, you could justify it as Aurobot, and there, there is that way to play him, but his damage contribution will not be as impactful. Additionally, if you can brute force through buffs and or debuffs put on you, then that gimmick of Balthier's isn't really needed. And while it, it's a gimmick, it's nice to have. You don't need to be dispelling or cleansing to have to justify Balthier in the party it does help some but really my main gripe with him is that he suffers the same as all other damage dealers if you don't blue him uh, and you compare him to other blue damage dealers potentially he might not feel as good and while the buffs alongside the damage are good we do have crazy sources of damage and we have crazy sources of buffs when Baltier initially came out in gl like the brave and hp damage up combo wasn't that really he didn't we didn't really have much of that at the time but now we have the brave and hp damage up everywhere along with bt plus etc so that field that what Baltier is doing is a lot more competitive as for potential Baltier teams uh honestly he's so like he does so much that he kind of fits in every team, so this section really isn't, there's not really a point, I mean, you want to buff his damage, but you also want to bring additional uh, 
damage buffs alongside him so more defense down for the enemies because he's bringing the attack or you can double up on attack or just do both via calls he works well with turn stealers because he is pure aura i mean he gives stats that everyone likes outside of brave gains up for good fights uh it's good they brought him in the shadow ld raid because that boss buffs itself and debuffs you so both here can handle that all in one button his ld kane's upcoming intertwined will range damage orb both here easy clap he came with Jagrin's fight next month, and I don't know if he did anything specific there. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to look up the fight right now, but that is when he was supposed to come. Fran, Act 3, Chapter 5, Part 2 for the range damage again. Machina's raid is the Elvarets, which I think buffed themselves, which he can steal. Way down the line at Cyan's LD Heretic. He can. It's the, it's the Fang bosses that buff themselves and they debuff you, so Balthier can be helpful there. That's all that comes to mind. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. There's no event attached to this, so I'm just going to go straight into my plans. I... I'm skipping this banner. I already have Setzer and I already have Balthier and I'm gonna get Jax BT elsewhere and if I maybe if I wanted to gem pity on this banner for just Ash alone it's not worth it. But yeah I already have Balthier's LD when he released as a global first as I'm sure a lot of vets do because most of us grab GL first so yeah. I actually got his LD in JP and then I never used him for anything which is kind of influencing my opinion here. I don't think he stood out much when he came in JP, even when he got C90 down the road. I still, still thought he was just middle of the road. Uh, part of that was because I didn't want to go fully in on his blue, but even then, I never, never, there was never really a fight where I thought, oh man, I wish I had ball here. So for my pull advice, and pretty usual, same for people who already decided. If you have a favorite in your dead set, by all means. If you're on the fence, take some of this into consideration. Uh, and keep in mind that he does rerun, well, he did rerun in JP when we got the six man event, the beta and he ran alongside emperor bt plus etc and he got an ld board rework there along with c level 90 but yeah uh if you're newer i'd say this is a good banner for you setzer in my opinion is at the tail end of your usefulness uh ash is a good all around unit with the enchant the heals the ex manipulation etc and baltier is solid in terms of damage and utility and party buffs with his ld auras plus it's another chance that chance excuse me at jex bt which is good but if you've been playing for a while i think this banner is largely a skip one i think baltier again it's kind of average middle of the road you won't feel bad if you if you've skipped him, but while he can be good in certain situations, I'm sure everyone has the damage roll covered, uh, the dispel roll covered potentially. Setzer was super popular on his release, so I know a lot of people have him already, and Ash is pretty much power crept at this point. She can be useful here and there uh, for occasional things, even as a call, but uh, this banner really is not worth it, especially if you've been playing it for a while. They, uh, I want to say they this is the half of their apology for messing up that Setzer banner way back, and they really messed up. But if you have a good roster, I think you can skip this banner entirely. And if you're not willing to blue ball here, I'd say he's probably not worth investing in. At best, unless you're really dedicated, obviously, you'd probably keep him in your pocket as a potential dispeller for the LD call, but even I wouldn't pull, not, not an LD call worth pulling anyways. Those auras are a dime a dozen now, and if you don't have the damage to accompany the auras, I don't think it's great. And that's all I had to say. Uh, a little bit late here, but uh, I just wanted to get my opinion out there before the banner goes away, at least. I just got back. I'm still getting into the swing of things. I plan on streaming First Soldier, the, the Battle Royale. I've been having a lot of fun with it, actually. Um, and trying to catch up with stuff, full plans. I'm probably going to release that around the time of uh, Caius's cycle in GL. And uh, JP's getting a new Burst Plus soon in FR, so that'll be hype as well. But I've talked long enough. Thank you guys for watching. Again, be sure to like the video, hit the bell, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you later. Peace.